AM 1170, The Answer. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170, The Answer. My name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty. As I mentioned earlier, Jason Hall, self-proclaimed Chargers homer, taking one for the team, in line, StubHub Center in Carson, waiting to be the he's first. He's going to be so pissed. He's going to He's going to hear this yes. and he's going to be so pissed. He's first <laughs> in line to get the Los Angeles Chargers season tickets for everybody here on the show. Yeah. Again, Jason, you are just the ultimate team player. <laughs> we would be lost without you, big guy. So we appreciate you and and make sure we get good seats. I want to be right there with you cheering on our Los Angeles Chargers. So thank you, Jason. Um, before the break, we were talking with both Greg Gagnon with the UPS stores, Brian Mancuso with Whistle Realty. If you want to get connected with these guys, I'd love to make that happen for you. 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. But now I've got the other Brian from the Whistle Realty team. Yes, sir. Mr. Brian Kochi. Yes, sir. And he, we're, we're giving him an opportunity to get away from being behind the camera, and now he gets to be in front of the camera. It's happened a few times. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I've done radio a couple times. We did Santee Saturdays. I've hosted Santee Saturdays a couple times. Yeah, you're growing. You could just take over. Do you just want to run the show? I am uh, eating a bit more. You got some of that winter (laughs) weight on right now? Yeah, winter and summer and fall weight. (laughs) It's accumulating. Yeah, well, what we can do is get you (laughs) one of Greg's pallet paddles and put you out there on Santee Lakes and let you get at it. You know, this is an idea. I think I'm going to sign up for, um, what, what do we just do? Uh, the gym. The hot yoga? Santee? No, not hot yoga. F45? Nope. Hot yoga's good. Uh, what would we just do? Um, where they did the Cineplex room. Oh, uh, Choose Fitness. Choose. Choose. I, yes. I kept wanting to say crunch, but yeah. Um, choose. I think we're going to sign up for Choose, my wife and I. You yeah? should. You should. It's great. It's such a great gym. Yeah, and they're, they're doing the new team training class, which yeah. I really like. Yeah. It's um, heart rate based and... And it's team based. I really like that. I loved kickboxing. I went to CKO for about a year. No, I paid for about a year. I went for about six months. Um, I love doing that. I just got burnt out on working out. So I'm getting back to that time where I want to start working out again. Yeah, good. you gotta get those cat-like reflexes back, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and and I know that most of you are listening to the show right now. We also record this on video. And Brian has a, a signature move. It's very reminiscent of a cat claw. Yes. Um, I can't confirm or deny that's what it, what the objective <laughs> is, but that's very much so what it looks like. Yeah, that's that's what it is, I guess. We'll go so, with it. <laughs> Brian, you do all the media for the team at Whistle Realty. You know, Brian Mancuso and I are super lucky to have you aboard. Tell us about some of the cool new stuff that you're seeing and that you're doing when it comes to using media to market real estate. You know, so a lot of the cool things we're doing now, um, I'm sure if you've been on Facebook, you've seen um, a lot a lot of videos. We're doing a ton more videos and a lot of the videos what we're doing is cutting out little minute clips that we can use on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so really trying to repurpose content on multiple platforms that makes sense. Now, obviously you can't just cut and paste, throw it up and m- make it work for multiple platforms. You have to use that voice of the platform. So if, you sh- if you've ever seen anything on Facebook with 30 hashtags, it doesn't look true, it doesn't look genuine. So you have to kind of uh, filter that content to make sure it works right. Um, so video is a, a big thing that we've been doing that we're continuing to do. Um, we just got a new gimbal, which is awesome. So we can do those walking shots really smooth. And we're using that a lot more on our Santee Saturdays. Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing we're doing is we're working on more is doing captions and building that into the video. A lot of Facebook video, a lot of Instagram video is being played without sound. So being able to read what people are talking about rather than listening to it. A lot of times I'll, I'll be watching a video and I'll watch longer and longer videos just reading the whole time. So hmm. we're seeing a longer form content being consumed better with the captions. So that's something cool that's been going on recently. Um, so basically what you're saying is pretty colors. But that's what I got from all that. <laughs> no, I didn't say pretty colors at all. Oh, words. Okay. I misunderstood. <laughs> words. Basically, I said all words. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, the biggest thing is the captions is huge because I know there's a lot of people who, you know, they wake up in the morning and maybe their significant other's not awake yet and they're playing on their phone and, 
can't play those videos out loud, but you do want to watch them. And so having the captions down below is great. Exactly. Um, so it's not just for people hard of hearing anymore. It's for people who don't want to uh, piss off their significant other in the morning and, and play things out loud. So that's a big plus. Exactly. A lot of text overlays. That's one thing that we've been playing with, um, with just listed coming soons. Um, and just sold posts on Facebook and Instagram that they're actually doing really well is doing um, text overlays that give a, a basic rundown of the house. You know, how many bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. Um, we do it where it has a really nice border, looks really clean, um, and putting that together with really high end images uh, really shows the house well. Right. Um, and does great for not only the house that we sold, but also the, the neighborhood and building value within there. Yeah, and what's funny is, you know, as I'm sitting here, I just got pinged about a property that matched one of my criteria. I'm looking to pick up some more property right now. And pull up the first picture. It's a condo. It's clearly taken with a cell phone. There's a car parked directly in front of the front door of the condo. There's a whopping three pictures of it. You know, it's amazing That's the... You know, and I mean, it's it's two hundred thousand. It's not like it's a super high price point, but what you'll see is realtors. You know, some t- if they got the two million dollar property, cool, they'll they'll open up the checkbook and you know stroke Go the big out, check. Yeah. But then they get the two hundred thousand place, and they're like, ah, I'll just take a picture with my cell phone, and somebody will buy it. Like, and, and it's crazy. It, it blows me away. I, I saw one for a million dollars the other day um, from a brokerage that does a lot of high end stuff. Again, cell phone stuff. Six pictures, horrible. And I'm like, guys, this is a million dollar home. And you're doing cell phone pictures. Brian gets worked up about this stuff. I look do. At look at so, him. This is intense. Kyle I love doesn't it. know this yet. I'm, this is. I'm gonna let him know right now. But today I'm gonna go and re-photograph one of the properties. Um, we had photographed that um, we used a different vendor. Um, I was unavailable that day. I think we were shooting in Poway, and so I'm gonna reshoot that today because it bothers me that the photos aren't mine and they're not up to my standard. So I'm going back there today to photograph it and get some good photos out for I it. I love Which that. property? Gray. Gray? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. the other company that the other massively company. oversaturates the photos? Oh, it looks oh. horrible. And it. Uh, and then they drop in the aquarium blue sky. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and, those and, are fun. And we get gnarly fades in the windows and everything's blur. It, it's... I'm gonna get some good photos for so it today. Spe- speaking of Brian's <laughs> dedication to this, which is inspiring, I saw your I saw your magical bat cave the other day. Oh yes, in Santee, and it is quite a magnificent thing. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so he's talking about my green screen studio. We do, um, I probably do 10 to 12 green screen videos a month there, um, and so we painted one wall green. We matted all the walls or all the other three walls with foam to deaden the sounds. We have some yep. really nice, clean sound. Like a boom mic? and Yep, we got yeah, a boom mic hanging cool. from the ceiling. Um, again, something I'm telling Kyle for the first time, we're going to uh, order some new LED lights today. Yeah. So damn expensive. Um, <laughs> just, just You're more expensive it. than my wife. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But he's, he's I, I great at what he does. I could like to. Yeah, but, he's a good uh, investment. Yeah, so really just, and the great thing about that is um, we can do our informative videos, our market updates that we do a lot, but I can also put in videos of agents standing in front of the the property so they don't have to be there but I can get them looking like they're in front of the property talking about the property That's as awesome. I do my video walkthrough. Yeah, you you've done some magical stuff. I love watching your work. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. And that's a big thing for us at Whistle Realty is that we just want to reinvest that money. I mean, when you pay a realtor, there's a lot of people that see the amount of money that a realtor makes, especially on these TV shows, Million Dollar Listing. One, they're not making that actual percentage that they show. Those are fabricated numbers. Um, But even if those were the real numbers, let's just assume for argument's sake that they were actually making that much. That's the gross number. Mm -hmm. What people don't realize is is when a realtor charges a set commission, automatically right off the top a percentage of that goes to the brokerage that they work for that goes to cover putting covering the lights covering the bills all the expenses then usually a third of that is going to go to cover the actual marketing most good realtors actually reinvest about a third of that commission into the marketing and then the other third is what actually puts food on the table Hmm. Um, so you got to think about that and at whistle realty we're committed to reinvesting that money into the market because we know that's what's going to put the most money in your pocket so if you want to get more info about getting your home on the market, taking advantage of the seller's market that we're in right now, give us a call, shoot us a text, 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. Thank you so much for listening to the show. We'll talk to you next Wednesday.